North Texas State Representative Carl Sherman has proposed a bill this session that, if it becomes law, would require the state to provide every prison guard in Texas with body camera recording systems similar to what police and sheriff's deputies wear. It would apply to both public and privately run prisons. Fox 4's Sean Rad, downtown Dallas today with a story. Sean. Yeah, and the body camera systems would come with the price tag of $54 million for the camera equipment as well as the docking stations necessary to use them. This bill requires uh, the Texas Department of Corrections to adopt a policy for the use of body-worn cameras. DeSoto State Rep Carl Sherman's filed a bill that would make body cameras, like what law enforcement officers wear, mandatory for the state's 20,000 prison guards. With body cameras, it uh, creates uh, a different uh, environment and uh, protection uh, for those who uh, work inside of our prisons as well as those who are under their custody. The House Corrections Committee hearing testimony about that proposal. Our organization supports HB 1524 and believe body cameras can help make improvements to how TDCJ operates and keep staff and inmates safe. This past spring, Gonzalo Lopez escaped from a Texas prison bus, killed five family members in Central Texas, and was free for weeks before being killed by police. A report found steps were skipped with Lopez, strip search, and a weapons check with a handheld metal detector. I spoke earlier with Sherman about his legislation. Having body cameras uh, creates a uh, open environment of transparency and accountability. A dozen or so states have moved to prison guards wearing body cameras since 2021. You think about what they've done in Ohio. Uh, it has, they've been able to track and see that it's reduced violence uh, within the prison. So it makes the environment safer. Now, uh, State Rep. Carl Sherman, in 2021, the last legislative session, proposed the same legislation. It died uh, in August, but this time around, he has bipartisan support. And Thursday, he's holding a news conference in Austin with that across the aisle backing. We'll see how far the bill goes. Absolutely, John. John Rabb, downtown Dallas. Thanks, John.